Hello, I've been worried about Patriarch Kirill in Moscow for some time. And I've done a bit of digging around. And in fact, he comes out uh, looking much better than I imagined. The photograph of him on, or the photograph of the person who is supposed to be him, on a boat frolicking in the summer with a bevy of beautiful girls in bikinis. Well, it's not clear that the yacht was actually his. It's possible that it was rented, and it's possible the girls were too. Um, that's number one. Number two, the size of his cufflinks. Well, the cufflinks seem not to be the obsession of the Russian media. The obsession of the Russian media was the size and um, expense of his watch. But it is as nothing in comparison to the watch worn by Mr Peskov, the spokesperson for the Kremlin. So again, uh, Patriarch Kirill seems to get off the hook. And uh, it's quite clear that he was advocating the war in Ukraine when the war started, but he seems to pull back from that position. Now, does that entirely exonerate him? I don't know whether it does, because when you consider or when you compare the behaviour of Patriarch Kirill to the behaviour of the chief rabbi of Moscow who has now fled Russia, um, a man called Rabbi Goldschmidt, um, you know, suddenly the cracks in Kirill's uh, carapace show. They really show. Um, the rabbi, the chief rabbi, was not prepared to endorse the war. And indeed, we now learn that pressure was put upon him to do so. So if pressure was put upon him, pressure was also put upon Kirill. So my sympathy for Kirill, who was obviously under duress when he spoke at the beginning of um, the war, during uh, the beginning of Lent, indeed. Um, but he hasn't, um, you know, if a religious leader capitulates like that, maybe he should not be a religious leader. But uh, the chief rabbi of Moscow, well, I take my hat off to him. He's done the right thing. And uh, if anybody else has further information about uh, Patriarch Kirill's peccadilloes, I'd be very interested to read them. At the moment, I don't think that he was any worse than uh, the Archbishop uh, Christophilus of Greece, the... Um, uh, the uh, the the um, the old Archbishop of Christodoulos, uh, the old Archbishop of Greece, Christodoulos, who died um, in the early part of the century. Uh, he was like Kirill, an arch nationalist, but was he, um, as Kirill's uh, detractors say, was he a um, uh, a leading member of the KGB? The evidence for that in uh, Kirill's case seems scanty um, but the rumours persist and uh, while there are rumours I suppose we should keep hunting to try and find out the truth so I will keep hunting if anybody has information about that I'd be very interested to hear about it thank you have a good day